hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel you already know how we do it it's time with ashake a day and today there are lots of g's like g's g's so yeah if you're new here you're always welcome and if you've always been here you're still welcome and always welcome so don't forget to subscribe like share and comment and turn on your notification <laughs> So today I have with me a special somebody. You know what I mean? Like a special preference, you know. So let's just welcome somebody in the house. <laughs> Yeah, guys, this is who we have here. Introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Ellen. Hi. So yeah, she's my sister. You know, she, you, you shall know. So today we are talking about relationships, like in general. So let's get right into business. So yeah, we're talking about relationship. Like, what would you tell us about relationship? Like. How can you define a relationship when someone tells you, oh yeah, I'm in a relationship with someone, I'm in a relationship with this person, like, what does it actually entail? Oh, that's a big question you give to me, but um, it's just like, it depends, maybe you are your boyfriend and you are your yeah, boyfriend, husband and wife, sometimes you can even be in a relationship with your friends, so yeah, just my friend. Okay, fair enough. So... If a girl comes to you, okay, let me put it like this. What's your take on a girl dating married men? Like, this person, you know he's married. Why are you dating him? Like, why are you in a relationship with that person? Uh, obviously, it's something I would never advise because I'm, I'm with my husband. So, it's just like someone saying to one of my friends, oh, I'm dating Ellen's husband or I'm dating. I'll be like, so is it something that... I don't care what's gonna happen in your what's happening in your family between husband and wife. Like, why do you wanna cheat on your wife? If you think that there's something going on between both of you and think, oh, you can sort it out, you might as well just go for divorce. So instead of you cheating, or instead of a girl saying, Oh, um, I'm dating a man, it doesn't make no sense. It's just like try to be in my own shoe as well. If you're married and your husband is dating and your friend is dating your man or a gay is dating your man, how would you feel? So I think that's just a f the question is uh, how would you keep like a healthy relationship like if I'm in a relationship with someone like and how do I like how do I how do I keep a re healthy relationship basically? Um, listen, no one is perfect. Let me tell you that. And uh, keeping it, there's nothing you want to do like let's say for example, oh yeah, because um you want to dress the way like some girls are dressing. You think that will keep that will like keep your relationship. You're lying to yourself. You can be a best cook in the world. That doesn't mean your husband will not even cheat on you. I think the thing because with me, I believe in prayer. So you just have to keep praying because there's no you want. There's nothing you want to do. Even if you live like give your whole life to that man, that doesn't mean oh yeah yeah. He's, it's I'm gonna perfect he's, a, he's perfect. He's a perfect man. No one is perfect. Trust me. So I feel you just have to keep praying because with me, oh I love praying. Mm. So that is just the only thing because there's nothing you want. As I said. That's just me. Just pray. Just pray. So only prayer can keep it going. Yeah, prayer. Prayer is part of it because let's say for example, even if you're doing three so you you're going down on your man, you are doing this. If he wants to cheat, my dear sister, he will still do it. But why do people actually feel it's normal for a man to actually cheat? Like I don't... is something normal. Like if a lady cheats, it's something else. But if the man cheats, they don't really criticize the la the, the men man. more than the ladies. Um, obviously, as you said, they will be like, oh, she's a prostitute, but they believe that men, they are, they say they are the head of the, the, of the family, so they have the right to do that. No, no, because it's even in the Bible, it says you have to respect your wife and you have to respect your husband as well. So I don't, yeah, people actually, I don't, I don't really know reason why they believe that, oh yeah, it's normal for man to cheat, but for ladies, no, you, you can't. You're a prostitute if you're doing that. To be honest, we have to add elderly people on that. <laughs> I can't okay. give straight answers. Any elderly people? You gotta help us. You stop. 
Please. You gotta help us. Because me, I'm not married, though. So that I'll not go, you know, in case I go and find man to marry. If he cheat, I cheat, though. So you better educate me now so that it will not be like that. You know. She's. No, she's. Hold on, let me sit over here. You need that. So the next question I have for you is um, general advice on toxic relationship. If your toxic means when your let's say for example your your relationship is not like going the way you want it to go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you just I don't know with to be honest, yeah, my own opinion is might be different from your opinion. The way let's say for example, yeah, my relationship like the way I do my relationship might be different from the way you and your own relationship. So with me, patient, trust me, because at the end of the day, patient is there, but when toxic, like, when in this mode, there's no violence in it. What if there's violence? How more you pack your bag and go? Because at the end of the day, people, especially you, Yoruba say, eh, for it, tea and all that. No. Because you, your husband is beating you today, tomorrow, today, tomorrow, you're fighting. How do you even have a peaceful life? Let's say along the way, you end up dying or something let me tell you something that man is gonna get out of wife baby girl and he's gonna pass in front of your sari trust me we still What's gonna say Twer, Twer your grave. so if it was um violent please mm. please please say no to domestic no. violence you can to be honest yeah, you can because they used to say oh yeah if your man started eating you for the first time it will continue it depends Definitely. it depends you can pack your stuff leave the house and some people are like um oh, i have mobile massive <laughs> No, baby girl. No. Honestly, the day you slap me, bagavai. I will talk my other side to slap me. Shake my shame wine. I'm a mess with your ray. My pack, pack, baggies and baggages. Oh, oh, they draw, they do. Ah, I'm sorry, baby. Oh, they baby, my food. Call it poisonable. Call it repeat, Ah, call it poisonable. No, no, please. No, it's a no. Say no to the message. Say no, no. Even if he push you like this, oh my jack power. Jack power. Yeah, I don't tell you my own that. Okay, let's move on to the next. How do you know you love someone? Like, if you see someone, how do you know you actually? It's a genuine love, not love at first sight or something like. Um, is it like let's say for example, the... you know sometimes yeah we just go out we see this guy oh he's cute, and all of a sudden okay let's say like, but someone else will interpret it to love like oh I love that guy like is that how to love like how do you actually know you love someone? Um, uh, to be honest, that that is a different question to ask because it's really that before you can just see him and I say oh yeah I love him. Number one, ask yourself why do you love him. There should be a reason why you love him. Is it? Uh, let me tell you something. Girl, um, there are some girls. They love the guy because of the beauty or because he's handsome or something. They might love him because of the way he dress. They might actually love him the way he's dancing. They might. Let's say for I'm just saying like club and all that. They might actually love him because he has money. To be honest, I don't really. I don't really think there's just like boom. I saw this guy. Boom. I'm, I'm in love with him. Mm -hmm. you no, know, no. I'm sorry. It's just like let's say for example, yeah, like. Um, you you probably you went to E mm -hmm. and you met a guy and they said, oh yeah, can I have your number? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, I will give it to you. But gradually, you start building it up. You start building it up. You can't just say, oh yeah, boom, boom, boom. I love this guy. Why do you love the guy? Yeah. I so he is he. need to say, oh yeah, we love at first sight. Uh -uh. We well, kill you know, love at first sight. <laughs> you know because maybe it's in the night. Mm -hmm. You don't know what. Maybe you use makeup to. Mm -hmm. his face. Yeah, and same goes to girls as well. Yeah, there are some yeah. guys, especially guys, like I don't understand why do guys just see you once and they start telling you, I'm in love with God, I love you because you see what you carry. Why they don't go love you? Eh, guy go see you, so they'll say, Ah, oh, baby, <laughs> we like you, girl. <laughs> no, but guys do that a lot. Course, like, why course. would you just see so? I don't buy that idea. If you come to me for the first time and you are telling me you love me, well, like when the bogo well, how do you know when a guy just wants to sleep with you? Ah, me, I've never been in that type of situation before, so it's very hard, very, very hard to actually tell you. Oh, yeah, uh, maybe because I think when I came into the country, like I came to the country, I was in uni. Oh, no, no, sorry, college. I was in college, and that was when I met Lily's dad. So it's it's so hard to say. Do you understand? Yeah. 
you know like when a guy wants to sleep with you as a lady you should know when because he's gonna tell you lots of lies like even you it's just common sense that you need to understand but some people might not like they might be brainwashed not to even know because someone i'm meeting for the first time and he invites me to his house for the first time like why are you inviting me to your house in the Some first place? Some girls don't care, they will still go. Yeah, but that's just like a green light for you to know that I'm on you, but boy, you you know. Um, but then. It might not. But most, hundred, out of 100%, yeah, it might not say 99% because, of them, that's what they do. No, maybe because, oh yeah, he invited to his house, doesn't mean he wants to sleep with you. But that's what most of them do, though. Um, I've never been in this so that I'm saying that it's very hard for me to even answer that question. Hello, don't think it's me because you are there looking at me now. Think for the group only, but I, it, like it's what we see every it's day. What we see yeah, every day. So what we like, every day. So and that's and the most is it compulsory for you to go to his house? So go, no, if you're okay, if you're meeting him for the first time, like is it compulsory? You guys have something together that same day. Like is it good or bad? Um. As I said, it depends on the lady. Mm -hmm. Is the lady hungry for it? Because if you're hungry for it, um, they will even take you to one park corner or wherever. Are you hungry for it yourself? And again, why would you want to miss me for the first time? You're telling me, oh, you want to have sex with me. Excuse me? That look like a sex toy? Or would you a prostitute? <laughs> I need a prostitute. I know prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. like I said, it depends on the girl. Trust okay. me, it actually depends on the girl. There's some, there are some girls that maybe that's their business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe that's a business. That's what they do for a living. So, but to you, do you think it's a good idea? It's wrong. Why would I meet for the first? I don't even know if you have HIV AIDS. I don't even know if you have any diseases. Yeah, I don't even know if you want to use condom. We show. If you want to use, we'll go, go one call. Who knows? Oh, there's no going on though. But there are lots of people saying that I met her on the first day we slept together. Um, I slept married. with her on the same day and I got married to her. Bullshit. <laughs> Is it normal for a girl to depend on a guy she's not married to? No. Okay. Straight on, no. Hello, Baby girl, no. no. It's a bullshit, no. Okay. You gotta work for your other money, baby girl. Yeah. So that what? Dropping, no. So that what? The guy gotta respect you, baby girl. Okay. No, do not depend on the guy. You is it meeting for the first time? No, no, just, no, no, just before getting um, married. To be honest, it as I said, like if let's say for example, we all know that this country here yeah, because is sometimes I don't have paper and is the guy that is supporting you. Different situation, but if you have. Documents one, you've got two hands, you don't have no disability. Why were you why are you sitting at home? Just go work. Why do you want to depend on a guy? Why? No. With me, I've got two girls, I've got my personal job, and I'm still employed. So okay. with her, she has a job and she has her own personal business. So my sister, you gotta work for your money, baby girl. Yeah, you do not depend on that she hair. man. Come and do your she hair. done this, okay. 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 So, this one is personal questions. Oh. So, what was your first impression about your partner? Ha. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Ah. It's a bad man. What's it bad girl? This is like uh, almost more than ten years now. I feel my because he's he's a he's just quiet. Mm -hmm. So you like quiet boys? I like because me I'm not quiet. You me so I be like Jagu, Jagu. You don't like Jagu. Ah eh eh eh. Two Jagu I cannot live together. Yeah, I think that was the first impression when I met him. Yeah, it was even to when he said like ah hi my name is Adi. You Adi. You we were saying. <laughs> your relationship started. I am good. <laughs> So you want me to tell you my story? Yeah, at least so I can learn from it. Like so that when we want to get married, the maid will be looking for quiet man. Well, 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 uh, uh, it might not work for you, my darling. Okay. Are you guys? So it was my birthday actually. It was my birthday, so we went there after college, and uh, he went to school as well. He came back. And you didn't tell your father. No. I don't tell Popsy. I tell Popsy I go school new. <laughs> Day we went to, to his place and and after that was how we started exchange numbers and from there yeah and uh, yeah 
So how do you like how do you handle your marriage probably like when he's at, probably probably he's taking the piece or you're taking the piece or how do you just ha handle situation in the house? Let me tell you something. I take the piece more. I know. Me. I be too. Because one like it's quiet. It's too ah about me. <laughs> Say sorry. So obviously. Is it that I walk here where you walk here? But most of the time you just oh, no. just have a walk, just go out for about one hour, two hour, and just come back. What's the better period? We need to consider it. So because to be honest, it's me. It's just me. Today, if I hear, they say you just walk away. So if I start my choco, she's 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 really mad. So I'm used to just you know, my brother just. Walk away. Not walk away. No. No, you are calling you. Like just go for a walk for one hour. You can go to this lounge and, and drink. Home. Go to Sarah food. <laughs> <laughs> get, 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 get. By the time you come back, I'm like, you don't you are drunk, you know? You just give it to your mm. Billy girl. Mm. Sensei. You just give this back, give this doggy. Mm. So, this one, how do you handle families in your marriage? Like, you know, there are times that families just want to merge into your problems, they want to know everything about your marriage. Like, what's your take on it? Like, does your family need to know everything that is happening in your house? Or? To me, to me, that's my own personal um, advice. No. Because at the end of the day, and I think I used to have this at the back of my mind, that if you're saying to your parent, oh yeah, this happened today, this happened tomorrow, and uh, you get something out, what about your parents? The pain will stay in the heart, the old, the, the, the old is still there, and it's very hard before you can actually cover the old up. So, with me, anything that's going on in my relationship, I deal with you, I deal with my like between me and my partner, like no family, and no, it's only when things are actually are actually out of hand, then yes, but if no, you guys are you are mature enough, you saw each other, your parents were not there, so I think with that, you're, you're mature, you should be able to sort things out with me personally. I don't know, no. It's only when it's actually out of hand, then yes. But if no, because I know some people, any little thing, oh, that is. Mommy. Mommy. Uh, mommy. Uh, 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 you are, you, then you're not mature. You're not mature enough. It's just like, let's say, for example, you've, okay, you've got children. Anything happened between you and your, your son, your, your daughter, you're going to go to your mom, mommy. Eh, yeah. oh, dear. <laughs> no, 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 no. You are mature enough. That's why you think you want to settle down. Your parents were not there when you gonna fuck him. You know that thing. <laughs> so yeah, just soft is up between both of you. As I said, because let's get drunk, baby. Girl. I did it though. You better that one now. Business woman. Why you be Okay. Now this one is about the kids and the family. Boss, why you have I'll be waiting for that question. Yeah, this is about the kids and the family. Like, how do you shuffle work, kids, husband? Like, how do you just shuffle everything in and out? Like, um, it's not easy. Trust me, because if you're working full time and your husband is working full time and you've got kids as well, um, number one, um, uh, we just have to work things out between you and your man because lately it's really hard to. Because of things that's going on with kids now, to even trust anyone with your children. So, with me, like my husband knows, he'll be like, ah, oh, I trust this one. Like, if that person can look after my 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 children, I will be able to stay at home. So it's it's not easy, trust me. But because of my with my job um schedule, is three days or four days a week. So, yeah, we just yeah, between me, my husband, and my sister, and that's it. I said it's hard because some family the husband be like ah no I want to work no wife no you too you want to work then you just like neglect the kids no 
obviously yeah we know that we want money to look after the children and at the same time the children are, the children are very important as well in our, in our lives so people are actually looking for them and so it's just it's, it depends on your on you and your husband you just work things out yeah. Somebody that you know yeah you you can trust you He's carry French. your children there. Hey, baby girl, so I live, but look after mommy. But if they carry What's your children to this there? land, you don't have a bomb in this land. You are lying, you know. But no, say She did get it, she did get it. La la la, on the front there, you need for. Eh, check it out. She give me the, she give me the, she, oh yeah, she did come out, my little toe, she, she did come out, did you see, she did come out. Do you think all these ladies that are, or no not ladies basically both men and women that are single uh, single parents like do you think is what they want or mm. like I don't is it like a big deal or is it normal for you to to be a single parent? Um, it's not it's not what they want it's not what they want because look at for example we are seeing now. There's a reason why most of them are single parents. Is it through maybe domestic violence? The husband is not responsible and yeah. Or they go up pregnant and the man says, Oh yeah, I don't want the baby. So it's not it's not something that they want. It's not like that some people is their choice, but let's say seventy percent is not what they want because obviously I'm a little fair on that theory, man. Mm -hmm. You know? It's it's not easy. It's, it's not easy to so it's not people's it's not their choice it's just that's our life they will just have to take it like that trust me because as i said my different issues everybody's walking about you don't know what's going on in their life yeah, yeah. so don't be like oh yes yeah, single mother mm, you don't know what she's going through with me you don't know what i'm going through it's only what i'm saying to you that you listen to with so. me you don't know what i'm going through because i have so many children <laughs> yes now is the wine I have so many children. One is turning two tomorrow now. It's shy. It's a bukata. It's a bukata. <laughs> it's a bukata for. <laughs> so maybe they, were, out there. maybe they were. Maybe they were even raped. You. you never know. We love you. We got you. <laughs> Keep doing you. Okay, you'll be alright. You Your fine. children shall be good. Alright, guys. We've come to the end of the whole. Top, um the whole situation the whole discussion the whole stuff the whole yeah. scenario <laughs> <laughs> the whole so, <laughs> so, so that's all about it like that's what i have for you this week and yeah single parents we love you and all of you that is just looking for love we pray you find love and all of you that are in toxic relationship like aqua Crop. <laughs> Just take a walk. walk. And all of you that like to fight your partner, dead there, small, small. Bro, I mean, my baby. Small, small. No, I don't. I don't like to fight. No. All of you that like taking the peace. No peace. Peace, you know. Ah, uh, I don't know where I got no. JJ, JJ. So yeah, that's it. Anything you wanna tell the viewers? Thank you for tuning to Ashake a day. And I'm a cook as well. Yeah. If you want to have <laughs> Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that is true. If you if you're having a birthday party shout out. Name in baby shout shower, out. bridal shout shower, out. Shout out. whatever event. Shout in. Just hold up. I'll put her. Your new boyfriend and girlfriend. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again some other time next week, whenever and wherever. And yeah, thanks for coming to. She didn't pay me, Sha. I'm still waiting for my money. Peace. We love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe and like. Subscribe. Share Ta -da! and comment. Bye. See you later.